For today's project, you're going to need some cups. Uh, these are 15 of the 9 ounce Dixie paper cups. Some painter's tape, ping pong balls, scissors, steak knife, and a sharpie. Okay, so for this, I made a template to cut the holes. We're going to have to cut a hole in the top of each of these cups, and this is the parent task. To make it easier, I actually used a post-it note and I made sure that it was... So I just took a post-it and I cut it so I knew that the ping pong would fit through the hole. Opposite the seam when you cut. So there's going to be a seam in the cup. You want to keep the seam in the cup and you're going to put the template on the other side and we're just going to make dots at the four corners and you'll repeat that for all of the cups. Opposite the seam, put your template down, cool. dots at the corners. Then you'll take your steak knife, poke a hole, and you're gonna cut out to each of the dots you just made in the cups. On the short edge, you'll cut straight across. And then on the long edge, I do a little scoop. It helps catch the ping pong ball. So it's rounded. And it kind of looks like a soapbox car. And then three, three of these vertical style cups that we'll use in the marble, the ping pong run. So same template because I know that the ping pong ball will fit through that space. And we're going to put it towards the bottom and I'll show you why. It um, doesn't have to be quite as tall. So on the vertical cups, when you cut them, same thing, you'll cut out to the dots. This one you can just cut straight on the sides. Now, the bottom lip is what I wanted to really show you. The ball is going to need to slide out. So you don't want a lip right here. So when the ball pops in, it has to be able to roll right out. So no lip on the bottom. You're going to cut it clear off right there, smooth edge for your vertical cups. And do three or four of these. Then leave one cup at the end to catch the ball. We'll show you how to put it up on the window. So we're using painter's tape and we're putting it on the window, but you can stick it on a wall and use masking tape depending on how much you care about your paint, I guess. All right, Daphne, you ready to stick them on the window? Yes. All right, come up here. Let's help, let's keep going. First time doing this. What? That's my first time doing this, so I don't know. Yes, he's 
crazy. Yeah. Oh, first shot. You didn't even make it. You didn't even make it. Oh, that was awesome. Well, it kept hitting this, so I turned it to my little. Oh, that's good. Thank you. So when we first attached these to the window, we had them to where the cup was perfectly horizontal. And um, we pretty quickly found out that when the ball gains too much speed, the ball tends to pop out of the hole and not make it all the way down the run. So we figured out that we can change directions to slow the ball down and we can also change the angle of the cup to slow the ball down. And you'll just, you and your kids will tweak it to where the ball doesn't go too fast, it doesn't bounce too far, and maybe if you need to change directions, we found three, change direction. Um, we could drop it into a vertical. It just builds your own.